Hello people! Hi! Right, today we're in a little town. Do you say it's a town or a village? Town. It's town, isn't it? Yeah. It's a town. I thought it was going to be a small little village. We're in the town of Moffat. M-O-F-F-A-T, I think it's spelt. There's a few interesting facts to tell you about this place. We just stood near the church at the moment. We parked a few hundred yards away and we're just going into the middle to see a ram. So this is the Star Hotel. This is the skinniest hotel in the world. In the entire world. Whole wide world. The whole <laughs> wide world. It's probably the skinniest hotel in the entire galaxy. It's that skinny. It doesn't look that skinny, really, no, does it? It's, it's very tall and skinny. But yeah, it's uh, apparently the skinniest in the world. Poppy day coming up, and look what they've done with the bins. They're all done out in World War One soldiers. That's really impressive. On the bench as well. Look. I wonder if. Seems surely they're going to leave them there after Poppy Day. They're I not. Think they would. They were always there. I yeah, they look a bit mucky at the bottom. Yeah, there's some nice ones over here. Though. So what we are noticing this year, not just. Well, it's the centenary this year, isn't it, of the end of World War One? But all up and down Britain, we're noticing a lot of small towns and villages are really good putting the effort in this year. And you're going to see a lot of like pubs and things completely covered in poppies. And it looks like Moffat's going to be one of them places. Just walking up the high street now and noticing the names of some of these shops are really cool. Thingamajig, the Rumbling Tum. And there's a lot of hotels and bars which I can't even pronounce. There must be like old Gaelic words or something. Uh, Balmoral. Balmoral Hotel. Balmoral. Yeah. And a Dale Arms Hotel. And a Dale Arms. But there is one further back and I couldn't even pronounce it. Here is the ram I'm talking about. Mazzy, we're here. Yeah. What do you think of it? It's big. It's the Moffat Ram. Yeah. The famous Moffat Ram. Now, apparently. It's haunted. Really? It is haunted. It has more ghosts than it has ears. Right. <laughs> Making it the, the only haunted effigy of a sheep in the world. I'm telling you, Moffat's famous for a lot of things in the world. So what happened in 1875, some dude, because this was a big sheep, a, a big wool kind of uh, town, village in the day, I'm sure, 1875, um, some guy wanted to commemorate it and he... He, he wanted the big bronze statue of a ram to commemorate the, the trade going on in the in the town. He was probably the one making all the money from the trade in the town if he could afford to do something like this. So he got in touch with Billy, or William Brody to you, uh, who was a very famous Scottish sculptor, and he says, uh, will you make us a ram? He says, yeah, of course I will. So he made this ram, and all the village came out for the unveiling of it. And it's actually a fountain, if you look down here, You've got uh, water spouts at different levels, some for animals down at the bottom and some for humans up at the top. So it's a fountain with the ram on top. And all, as I say, all the village came out to this, to the unveiling, they pulled the thing off and everyone roared, clapped and were really excited about it. Apart from one man. That one man was a local farmer and he shouted out, he says, it has no lugs. That's Scottish, it means it hasn't got any ears. And everyone's looking up and saying, you're right, I haven't got any ears. And they're all looking at the sculptor saying, they're meant to have ears, uh, uh, rams, I haven't got any ears. And the sculptor felt stupid, he went beetroot red and he ran off at in embarrassment. Where did he run off to? The hotel there, because that's where he was staying. The Annandale Hotel. He went in there, went into his room and he hung himself. <laughs> he was so embarrassed, he hung himself. So that's the legend, that's the story. But, Mazzy, come here. Yeah. It's a load of rubbish. Oh, I believed you. I believed it when I read it, but apparently it's a load of rubbish because Brody, the sculptor, he died in his home in Edinburgh six years later. Oh. So he didn't go back there and hang himself at all. It was a load of rubbish. So apparently he's a bit of a, a ghost of this. It's haunted by the sculptor, apparently. And there's another guy called William Colvin who apparently haunts it as well. 
and he is responsible for the tapping noises. Apparently, you can hear tapping noises from in the fountain. Can you hear anything? Did you hear that? Oh no, it was that car. So that's your story of the Moffat Ram. There are a few other things I'd like to show you whilst we're here, if we can find them, because they're very, very small. Right, we're just in a shop at the moment called The Singing Potter. If you can listen to that, that is The Singing Potter. He's a potter. <laughs> he's made all these, he's also an artist. Look at the paintings on the wall. That's his daughter there. Susie. Susie. And we were just looking in the window and there were some newspaper cuttings of him. And we wanted to know what the story was of this uh, singing potter. And then behind me, a gentleman turns up and it's the singing potter himself. <laughs> and he just invited us in to have a look around. <laughs> Fascinating. So we have just left the singing potter shop. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let Mazzy say something. Uh, what know. was your what was your experience like in the singing potter shop? Uh, uh, very religious. Very religious. He said a prayer for us both. It did. It was quite intense, really, wasn't it? Very intense. It yeah. pretty much told me I'm going to hell. Yeah, and he was saying what got my back up though is when because I believe in God and stuff like that. I'm an Irish Catholic, but when he said I started going on about the same sex and everything, I was yeah. like. Same okay. sex, you can't have same sex. <laughs> he was calling it, we weren't born as Adam and Steve. <laughs> it wasn't Adam and Steve, it's Adam <laughs> yeah. and Eve. <laughs> yeah. Um, very interesting man. But please guys, if you're going in there, he actually told us he, he doesn't really have the shop to sell anything. The shop is there yeah. so that he can spread the word of God. That we did buy something. And get certain <laughs> people to spend six quid on a... I wouldn't mind, it said, it said 4 as well. said 4 said, on it, six, six quid. quid. Out. <laughs> we was like, yeah. We've just been done. Wow, that was an experience. Interesting man, yeah. all the same. Someone I'll never, ever forget. Yeah, lovely gentleman. <laughs> Good thing about this place, the town hall here, they don't charge you for parking, which is fantastic, but they make the money back by uh, selling clothes outside the town hall. <laughs> That's how the council are making the money. Rows and rows of tops and stuff. Okay, so we're starting to spend money now, we're here. Little bit. I've got something useful. Tea. Square sausages. You can't get them in England. Square <laughs> sausages. It's the future. It's the same as round sausages, but they're square. They don't roll around in your pan. They cook evenly. Just flip them once and they're done. What have you got? Have you got something useful? Yeah. Go on. We can save our pennies in this. That is not useful at it all. It is, and I want it as a cab. I have, I have cab everything, but I've never seen one of these before. It's a money box, guys. Care Bear money box for motorhome. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> so here's the Moffat Toffee Shop. Apparently, it's famous. Never heard of it myself. Have you? No. Of course, we've got to try some while we're here. I can see loads of sweets in there. I'm so excited. I can see my last three <laughs> teeth disappearing. Go on. Giant gummy beer. 0% alcohol, 9 99 well You can get three well. pints of beer for that. <laughs> Have you seen what's up there, Mazza? What is it? Oh, they it's the waterfall them. we've just been yeah. to. <laughs> you alright there, Mazza? Yeah, I'm happy. So have you been in the Moffat toffee bag? I I'm hungry. <laughs> I saved you a bit. Oh, you've saved me a bit. Yeah. And what do you think of it? It wasn't very nice, that's why I put that bit there. You think it's vanilla? Yeah, vanilla. It's got something in it, I think, but I'm not sure what it was. Let's try another one. That one wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> it's alright. Did you think so? I like it. It's like butter fudge. I didn't really have a taste to it, that one. We've got these guys. Um, what's this one? This is like an iron brew. Iron brew. Let's try an iron brew. Let's try an iron brew. Nice. Weird. Weird. Mm. No, try <laughs> It just tastes like cheap pot fudge. <laughs> so we've just popped in. 
to be, what is it, the narrowest hotel. The narrowest hotel <laughs> in the world. We're actually having a drink in here. I forgot what it's called, the Star Hotel. Yeah, we're actually having a drink. I'll flip you around so you can have a look around. So it's quite narrow. <laughs> it's like... That's the fire wall. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's it, the whiff of a bar. <laughs> it's really cool, but it's got some lovely gadgets all over the place. Mazzy, couldn't come to Moffat. Uh, Moffat. 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 Moffat, I think they Moffat. pronounce it. Moffat. Moffat. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't come to Moffat without showing you the shortest street in Scotland. You stood on it. I know, it's weird. <laughs> it's 18 foot five, 18 and a half foot wide. <laughs> There's a little plaque of it up there. It's nine foot by eleven inches wide. Nine foot wide. By eleven inches. Okay, nearly ten foot wide. Eighteen foot by five inches long. Eighteen foot by five long. Now that's quite extraordinary that this is the shortest street in Scotland. So on the way to the shortest street, I just got Dad to stop in a little antique shop for me. Check out these massive perfume bottles, guys. And you can look at them all you want, Mazzy, because they're display only. They're not for sale. Oh, I love them. They're huge. You can't really tell on the video, but they're huge. And all these, all these wonderful things. I love it. All oh, these cute little teddy bears like pandas. They're so lovely. I love teddy bears, as you probably know. Dan's panicking, he's asking me to be careful because I'm, I'm I'm surrounded by fragiles and I know what I'm like. <laughs> we showed you something similar in the last antique shop we went to, look at these. Oh yeah, they're like goat's, goat's horse. Bambi's feet or something, I don't know. £59 for six feet of an animal stuck on a piece of wood. But this shop is amazing, it's got lovely loads of, let me go slower, lots and lots of nice things, I love it. Me auntie Pat would love this, she collects all these like glass things, so I might have to get her something, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Oh wow! Another ninety pound. Does it remind you of your childhood, babe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh real nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheeky, you know. You've definitely found something now, haven't you, babe? What you got? Oh wow! That suit, ya? How much is it? £39. That's actually cheap, isn't you can't it? Get a jacket for £39 nowadays. Yeah, for the real McCoy. Do you think that's like the real. Of course, it's a real McCoy. There we go, £39. That's dirt cheap, isn't it? I think it's a lady's. Oh. <laughs> that suits you, sir. I love it. It's so quirky, just like really <coughs> random. Random strange things that we found. I just like all this kind oh, of stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Medals. And... Yeah. I like more stuff like this pen knives and <laughs> whistles. I love stuff like that. Come, here, come and look at this. What are you found? Is there any Star Trek fans out there? Not me. <laughs> Actually worn in the Star really? Trek film Deep Space Nine Promenade so Alien costume. Promenade. And Brian worn in Star Trek The Next Generation. Wow, there look you at go. that amazing R2D2. How do you know what that's called? Everyone knows R2D2. I didn't know that. that there fantastic. you go, Trekkie fans. This I'm, isn't an I'm not a Trekkie. I'm not a Trekkie, but I appreciate that's been in the Star Wars film. Yeah, I know, that's, that is cool. That is cool. What have you found now? These packages they've put together. Yeah. It's got all sorts of stuff. Judge Dredd in there. Lost. Yeah. Like phone cards. Cards. Judge Dredd. X-Files. Gorillas. Tarzan. Playboy. 20 oh, Playboy. 20, <laughs> 20 quid. 
But I want that. That's amazing. If we had a home, I can guarantee I'd be getting one of them. <laughs> and for all your tracky fans, there's, I forgot to show you, there's lots of all these tracky toys as well. Chewbacca. Who's that? Chewbacca. Oh, okay. The man who played Chewbacca is from Haworth. Where you're from? Or Keithley, one of the two. He's from where I'm from. Ah. Oh. True story. <laughs> Yeah, check all these toys out, guys. This is so amazing. Uh, Danny Boyle, have you heard of him? I haven't actually, no. Danny Boyle is uh, a comedian. Right. I don't know who he is either, but he's famous, apparently. He comes from here. Yeah. Who else is there? Stevenson. Do you know D.E. Stevenson? <laughs> no. He <laughs> is the cousin of Robert Louis Stevenson, who is a very, very famous person. If you don't know who he is, I'm not going to tell you. You can't just leave it like that. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Oh, that is I don't know. Answer. I think Robert Louis Stevenson, didn't he invent the rocket, the first ever train? I don't know. I should know. I should know these things. <laughs> and he did a lot of bridges. I think he built a lot of bridges as well. And then you've got Ellen Islop, who Robert Burns, he were knocking her off and they had a kid together. She comes from here and she's buried in the churchyard, but we haven't got time to go see her. And then down at the Black Bull Hotel, just down there, um, there was an infamous murderer called William Hare. I've never heard of him, but apparently he's very famous in Scotland as a murderer. Um, he stayed there just when he was escaping to Ireland. I can't tell you any more about that story, but Google it. Okay, Mazzy, that's the end yeah. of Moffat's. Oh, Moffat's. I really enjoyed Moffat. It Moffat. is a lovely place. Yeah. There's so, some really quaint shops. Yeah. You don't get, there's no boots or Asda's or super drugs or Poundland, McDonald's, there's nothing like that. It's all really quaint, cool shops yeah. with cool names, cool looking bars. We love it. So get yourself to Moffat, just watch out for the Singing Potter. We didn't give it marks out of 10. Oh, oh I'd say an 8. Good 8. You're giving it 8? A good 8 though, maybe a 9 if you know. I'm going to go 9. Right, okay. Okay. Oh, Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See Goodbye. you in the next. Bye.